So I figured I would read to you guys today, and it's Millie Bedelia, and it's a book that I grew up with. So, and just in case if you want to hear me read, you are going to hear me read. <laughs> oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work. I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You just do what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got in the car with Mr. Rogers, and they drove away. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. Millie Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks. But I must get to work. Here I stand just looking. And me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make a lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl, and she mixed and she rolled. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Now let's see what the list says. Amelia Bedelia read, change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. She got up some scissors and snipped a little here and a little there. And then and she changed those towels. There, said Amelia Bedelia. And she looked at her list again. That's the furniture. Did you ever hear a tell? Such a silly thing. At my house, we undust the furniture. But each his own way. Amelia looked at the list. Or, look. Sorry. Amelia Bedelia took one last of the look of the bat look at the bathroom and saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Oh no. Well, look at that. A special powder to dust with, exclaimed Millie Bedelia. So Millie Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how oh, nice it smells. <sighs> Draw the drapes when the sun comes in, cried Millie Bedelia. She looked up and the sun was coming in. Millie Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it, what it says. I'm not much of a hand of drawing, but I'll try. So Millie Bedelia start, sat down, and she started to draw, drew those drapes. And Millie Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put, put the lights out when you are finished in the living room. Millie Bedelia thought about this a minute. She, sh she switched off the lights, and then she carefully unscrewed the each bulb. And Millie Bedelia put the lights out. So those things, didn't, those things need to be aired out too. Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. My Hi, she explained, explained Amelia Medelia. She hurried into the kitchen. <sighs> Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the list. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Medelia. Amelia Medelia found two cups and she filled them, filled them with rice. And Amelia, Amelia Bedelia measured that rice. Look at that. That's what she's measuring. Just like that. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks want me to do the funniest things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. 
The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said. I'll do that nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and a bits of ribbon. And Amelia Bedelia trimmed the fat before she put the steak in the ice box. Now I must dress that the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went to work. Soon the chicken was finished. Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. The folks are back, she said. She rushed to meet, out to meet them. Amelia Bedelia, why are the, all the light bulbs outside, Mr. Rock? asked Mr. Rogers. The list said, just said, put out the lights out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't air out too long. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did, see? said Amelia Bedelia as she held up her picture. That's what she did. Then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. I did dust, did I dust it well enough? asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such a nice dusting powder. That's what she did. <gasps> Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towel, she said. Didn't I change them enough? asked Amelia Medelia. <sighs> oh. Mrs. Rogers went into the kitchen to cook. Went into the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where's the rice I asked you to measure? I put it back into the container, but I remembered it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Was the meat delivered, asked Mrs. Rogers? Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed the... rushed it to the ice box. She opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh dear, said Mrs. Rogers. Silly woman. The chicken. You dress the chicken? asked Mrs. Rogers. And I and I found the nicest to bo put nicest box to put them in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box? exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid, and there lay the chicken. He was he was just as dressed as he could be. <sighs> Mrs. Rogers was very angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth, and Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Millie Bedilly she was fired. But before she could... Get the words out. Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good, Mrs. Rogers forgot to be, forgot to be about being angry. Not a woman. Lemon ring pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia happily. So then there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. So she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, Undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of the stakes with lace. All he cared about was having her there and to make lemon meringue pie. Well, that was the book.
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that I read funny, but you love me, right?